Tell me more. Three words that have huge impact on our relationships, the way we can connect to people, and they can open hearts too. Three words. I haven't always really understood the power of these three words. When I first started my career as a pediatric mental health nurse almost 20 years ago, I went into my practice with my great big heart and all of my stories and great advice and an education to back me up, and I thought I was going to change the world. And as I reflected on the things that I was saying to my patients and the way they were responding to me, it wasn't matching. See, sometimes they would look at me and smile and nod like they understood what we had just talked about, and then they would go do exactly the opposite. Or they would completely shut me out from the beginning. We love to try to open communication with closed-ended questions. We ask things like, did you have a bad day? Are you mad? Do you want to talk? And the answer is, nope. And then we're frustrated because they won't open up. And so we ask more closed-ended questions, and now they're frustrated because we're prying. And the communication has totally disintegrated. And sometimes it even ends up in arguments. Occasionally, we get lucky, and they do open up, and they say things to us like, my boyfriend broke up with me, and I'm devastated. And we say, I remember when my first boyfriend broke up with me. Or they say, I failed a big math test today, and I'm afraid I'm not going to pass this class. And we say, you didn't study hard enough, did you? Or they say, I'm being bullied. And we say, I'll go talk to the principal. See, we default to these advice-giving, storytelling, problem-solving <coughs> answers for people. We forget a really important part. The day that I really started to understand the power of Tell Me More happened like this. I changed my focus from pediatric mental health to a life coaching um, career. And I started doing some sessions via FaceTime. So I was working with this client who I had been working with for some time. We weren't really going anywhere. We were kind of spinning our wheels. Well, this particular day, FaceTime froze in the middle of her conversation. <clears throat> I didn't know what to do, so I sat there hoping she didn't notice. And it came back on, thank goodness, and she was still talking. Yes, okay. But I missed a whole big part of what she had just been saying. So, to save face, I said, that sounds really good. Tell me more. And so she did. She kept talking. And then it froze again. <sighs> so we went through the same scenario again. <coughs> Tell me more. At the end of that session, she said to me, thank you so much. This was our best session ever. You taught me so much. <laughs> I said to myself, well, that was a pretty easy day. All right. <laughs> but it was at that moment that I said, oh, I get it. She didn't need all of my pearls of wisdom and wonderful advice. She needed me to listen. Oh. And the reason this is so important to me, I told you I'm a pediatric mental health nurse. Right now, in our community, especially here in Akron, Ohio, our kids need us. They are at huge risk for things like anxiety, depression, and suicide. And that is terrifying. We have to do better. 
What do we do? Let me tell you. Because if your kids aren't directly affected by this, their friends are. They come to us and say, my boyfriend broke up with me and I'm devastated. You say, sit down, let's talk, tell me more. They say, I failed a big math test today and I'm afraid I'm not going to pass this class. You say, what happened? Tell me more. Or they say, I'm being bullied. You say, let's talk. How are you feeling? Tell me more. See, the words can change based on whatever your subject you're talking about is. But what's important is you're inviting them to talk to you and you're listening to them. So I encourage you, the next time anyone, not just our kids, but anyone comes to you with a problem weighing heavy on their hearts, you sit down, take a deep breath, make some space, and ask them to tell you more. Thank you.